Now, uh, hi everyone. I'm happy that you are now sitting on top of your mats and you can join us for a uh, yoga for runners. So this class is going to be a special for all the people who are doing a uh, harloping, harloping, harloping. <laughs> thank you, harloping, or any kind of uh, activity that demands this kind of uh, impact uh, in your legs and in the lower part of your body. So for all the people who are watching us back home, this is going to be very good for recovery of your body or maybe the day that you don't go out to walk long uh, long uh, distance or to take like these uh, long walks or long runnings. This is going to be your recovery day for all these uh, exceptional days. So I'm here with a person who is going to join us. She's going to be helping us to demonstrate any kind of variation. So make sure that everything that you do today, it suits to your body. Make sure that it feels fine. Whatever you are looking somewhere or into the other side, wherever your hips, they are not feeling good. And just make sure as well that we are trying to find some kind of uh, sensitivity in plots of uh, pain. So if you find some kind of something goes on into your body, but it still it feels that you can hold it, then it's fine. But if you start feeling this pain, then we need to just switch or modify the, the housing. So make sure of that. Uh, let's start into a sitting position. If a clear market sitting is not uh, fine for you, you can always stretch your legs to the front or just maybe bring your heels, uh, finding a diamond with your legs. Relax your hands on top of your knees. And feel how your seat bones from here, they are connecting into the mat. Once you are here, we're going to start taking one long and deep inhalation through your nose and feel how your spine, how your back is becoming long and tall. And if you have your eyes open, close your eyes, exhale, relax your shoulders. Let's go here for two more times. Long and deep inhale through your nose. Exhale gently and slowly through your lips, through your mouth. Make sure you're able to relax your shoulders. Just one more. Long and deep inhale. Expand your lungs. Feel how your rib cage is just becoming bigger. And gently with control, let go the air. And then start taking these natural cycles of breath. Making sure that it feels soft, that it feels just natural. We are not going into any kind of breathing technique. We are just sending this information to our parasympathetic system. We are safe, we are fine. And our breath is the anchor for us to bring our mind into this present moment. And now very slowly, maybe you're keeping your eyes closed, we're gonna start just rotating the neck, making a big circle. So you're gonna start moving your head, bringing the chin towards your chest, towards your sternum, maybe then your ear towards your shoulder, head on the back, ear towards your other shoulder, and then back into the center. And keep making that big circle slowly. I'm sure you're finding some trigger points somewhere there, or maybe some points that you feel fine to stretch. But they are needed to make the becoming longer or find some extra space. And now let's keep the circle moving into the other side. So the same thing, just not the under the cankle. Allow your jaw to be relaxed, allow your lips. There's absolutely no tension in any muscle of your face. You need to feel that legger thing now going on into your stretch. Now very slowly, you're going to start moving back into the center. If you have your eyes closed, start gently opening your eyes. 
Inhale softly, take a long and deep inhale. Exhale gently, let it go. And then in the next inhalation, we're gonna bring our arms all the way up, find length. Look up towards the sky or just keep on watching towards the front and then bring the left hand on the floor, right arm stretch all the way over. Find the option to gaze down towards your mat and if your neck allows you, you can maybe gaze towards the right side. Try to focus that you are finding the stretch and the elongation in the left side of your body. Find that softness in your face. Maybe try to make a small smile. That makes you feel more relaxed, it can be. And then again, inhale, bringing back the arms all the way up. Imagine that you're creating a space in between your vertebras and then exhale, moving into the other side. Softly and gentle, very nice. Eyes open or eyes closed, it's up to you. Allow your body to enjoy, to connect. Keep on using your breath as a way to, to keep your mind into this moment. Trying to connect this body and mind, making it one. And then once again, inhale, finding length and make yourself long, long, long. And then exhale, just bring your arms on the front, relax your neck, let it go. Take here three cycles of breath. Then slowly we're going to start gazing forward and we're going to meet into a tabletop. So the hands are going to stay under the shoulder, the knees under the hips, and we're going to take five cycles of cat and cow. Spread your fingers on the mat, your middle finger will be pointing forward. Take a deep inhale, look up front. Very nice. And then exhale, uh, slowly round your back. Allow your shoulder blades to be away from each other and push with your hands the ground. Four more times. Long and deep inhale. Again, feel free to close your eyes. Exhaling, rounding the back, let the air go. Empty your lungs. And three more. Long and deep inhale. Nice. Exhale, let it go. Moving two more times. Inhaling, long and deep. Exhale, let go. Do it one last time. Hold your lungs with air. Slowly exhale with control, let it go. Round your back. Now we're gonna look forward, tap your toes on the back, and we're gonna go to sit on top of the heel. So we feel a uh, foot sole stretch. To stretch the toes, the sole of the feet, very nice. Try to keep your shoulders just above your hips, and then bring your arms on the front, right hand on the top, left hand under. So we can go for eagle arms. This is going to find the stretch in the back part, in the area of the shoulder blades. And we are just trying to find some kind of distraction using the hands because maybe the toes, they are just feeling something right now. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Take one long and deep inhale. Exhale, release your hands down on the floor. Lift up your feet and just try to tap them. Yeah, this is going to feel good. Once again, tap your toes on the back, go to sit on top of your heels, just for three more breaths. Left hand on the top, right hand goes under, perfect. And we're gonna go for eagle arms. Once again, this is, needs to feel good for your shoulders, upper back. Take two more cycles of breath here. Make sure that it feels good for you. Maybe because we are not used to, to go to sit on top of our toes, it feels some kind of too much. One last breath. Exhale slowly, release your hands down on the floor. Lift up your feet and this time just rotate your ankles. If you hear or feel some crackings, that is perfect. Then make the circle into the other side. Very nice. Then release back your feet. We're gonna tap the toes on the back, walk your hands just as you can our form so we can go into our first down. 
And once we are here, relax your neck if it's possible and try to pedal your legs, inhaling on one side and exhaling on the other side. We will move just slowly over and over. Trying to find the stretch from your foot sole into your Achilles tendon, your calf, your hamstring, and your lower back. And then bring back both of the heels down on the floor. Take a deep inhale, bring your heels on hook, going to the tip of your toes, exhale, bring the heels towards the right side. Perfect, yes. And then one more time, inhale, bringing back your heels up, exhale, moving towards the left side. Very nice. Bringing back your heels all the way up. Now bend both of your knees, look up forward, and start walking your hands towards the front of your mat. Let's take a long and deep inhale, finding length, maybe kick eight inches back forward. Exhale, slowly forward fold. Look towards your knees. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale, slowly. Let go. This needs to be relaxing. One last time. Your knees bending can be always an option. We are just start to find ourselves. Exhale. And then from here, we're going to step that left foot on the back. So we can go into that first runner's position. Your ankle is going to stay just under your knee. Make sure that this feels comfortable, that you are feeling here some kind of crack into your quad, into your hamstring. And if you want to just challenge yourself to find that balance, release the tip of your fingers and place the hands facing towards the back. Very nice. Just hold it here for three, two, and one. Bring back your hands down on the floor. Release the left knee on the ground. Take a deep inhale. Bring your arms up into Anjayanasana. Or tap your toes on the back so we can relax them. And then let your shoulders on spine here. Take three cycles of breath and feel how the area of your hip flexor is just finding the stretch. And again, your hamstring and your leg is completely active with the strength. How does it go if we close the eyes just for two breaths? Are you able to feel your hip flexor here, your lease. One last long and deep inhale. Exhale, open your eyes, relax your hands down on the floor, add them in, finding length, okay, in our four, and exhale, stretch the front leg. Very nice. You can always look towards your toes or just relax your neck where it feels nicer for you. Going into this half split allowed us to find that length into our hamstring. If you are feeling that this is too much, you are able always to micro bend your right knee. Now we're going to start pointing the toes up towards the sky. Maybe we feel it just a little bit more into the hamstring. Now bring your toes near the vinaka, do snar links. And then let your toes be pointing towards the front of your mat. Yes, try to direct them there, point them. And then point your toes in the legs. And making one big circle again. Finding the flow into the circle. And then we're going to make the circle into the other side. Just one. Maybe we are discovering some muscles that we didn't feel before. And once again, start bending on your front knee. Bring your hands down on the mat, have your toes on the back. Bring your knee up, step back into a plank. We're gonna hold it here for three. Keep your core active for two. And one. Knees on the ground. We're gonna relax the chest all the way down into the floor. Very nice. Keep your hands just beside or under your shoulders. Inhale into small cobra. And exhale slowly into a child pose. Yes, we're gonna hold it here for five cycles of breath. Allow your breath to be natural and maybe keeping your eyes closed. Allow you to feel more if you need to create more space in between your knees. Or maybe relaxing even more your neck. Find something comfortable for your shoulders. They don't need to be active now. Three last breaths. Now 
in the next inhale, we're gonna look up forward, take that forward, tap your toes on the back, and we're gonna move back into that down breath. Take here two cycles of breath. If it's too much, again, allow your knees to bend just a little bit because we are trying to find that your hips, they are up and back. And then next inhale, gain now four. You're gonna step or jump in between your hands. So you can bend both of your knees, maybe make a small jump in between. Inhale, finding length again, catch your chins. Exhale, forward fold, relax your neck. Two more times. Add it in, gain now four. And out all the way down. Last time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, let yourself relax here. And then relax your hands down on the floor. Step the right foot on the back of your mat. Once again, taking the runners, looking up forward, feel how the stretch now into the right side of your hip flexor gets active. Keep your navel in, don't let everything just go on top of your leg and because we want to make it a little bit more challenging relax your hands on the back keep the strength here show the blades they are kissing each other on the back and there's a lot of strength into your quad into your hamstring keep that nice balance inhale from here exhale hands on the floor knee on the ground on top your toes on the back inhale and the yanasana bring in your arms up Try to relax your hips and let the left knee just move a little bit towards the left side, finding a, an extra space. Very nice, it looks perfect. How does it go again if we close the eyes? Allow your shoulders to feel relaxed. And you're using your breath to feel where are the spots where you need to create stability or maybe just more strength. Relaxing the muscles of your face, your jaw. Long and deep inhale. Exhale, slowly opening your eyes. Release your hands down on the floor. Add them in, find length, add them out for a half split. Very nice. Again, looking into the top of your mat, if your neck is fine, or just relaxing your neck down. To be able to protect your hamstring, you need to keep your quad active. That will be your contra muscle to be just protecting your hamstring. Maybe your leg is shaking now, or maybe you feel that it's too much for the hamstring. Try to breathe slowly. That is the only way so we can relax the muscle and our nervous system. And then let's start letting the toes pointing up towards the plafond. Try to bring your hips just a little bit more on the back. And then the tain in our bine. The tain in our four. And our legs. Making that circle. Oh. Like again. No. And, then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> then keep on making that nice circle. Yeah, just think, mm, this is nice. This is nice. This will be your recovering day for every day that you go to run. Your muscles also need this relaxation. Now bring the, the circle into the other side. The muscles need to be recovered in order to, to work better. And then let your toes again point up, inhale, bending again the front knee, very nice. Tap your toes on the back, let your knee up, step back into a plank, holding it here for three, two, and one. And this time bring your elbows to bend beside your ribs, chaturanga, lower plank, inhale for an upward facing dog or cobra, I like to keep it chill. And then exhale back into a child pose. Relax your lower back. Relax your neck, your shoulders. Take from here three more cycles of breath.
Again, the next inhale, looking up forward, tap your toes on the back, bring your hips up, and then start walking your hands toward the back of your mat. Find your feet, keep distance apart. Inhale, find length. Exhaling slowly, forward fold. And in the next inhale, we're gonna circle the arms so we can go into standing. Bring your arms all the way up, and then exhale, bring your hands in front of your chest. And we're gonna go into a balance, but still we're gonna try to find the stretch into the side of the hip. So bend a little bit both of your knees, and then take the right ankle on top of the left knee. Perfect, flex your foot so we can protect the knee, letting your toes be pointing towards your knee. And maybe your hands stay here on top of the knee and on top of the ankle. And as lower as you can go, as deeper you're gonna feel the stretch on the area of your hip. This creates mobility for it. Take three more breaths. And if you find it that oh, I'm losing a little bit of balance, you can always find your hands on the side to create balance like if they were wings. Very nice. Hold it here for one more breath. Now, natures with control. Going back up, inhale. Very nice. Exhale, release your foot on the floor. Add it in, bringing back your arms up slowly. Exhale, hands in front of your chest. Bend both of your knees. Left ankle on top of the right. Flex your foot. And once you're finding this balance again, hands on top of your knee. Or let's use the arms. And the balance is something that if we don't use, we lose. So let's try to focus. Let's hold it here for three more breaths. You can do it deeper if you want, trying to bend or go into that small variation of a chair, one-legged chair. How we go in, how we go out. Slowly with control, inhale, moving back up. Exhale, releasing back down, perfect. Add them in, once again, arms go up. Exhaling slowly, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, start walking your hands on the front to move into a down dog. And now we're gonna take the right leg all the way up. Stretch it as higher as you can. Very nice. Exhale, knee towards the chest and the right foot goes into a half pigeon. Yes. So for some people, it's going to be possible to be the leg into that area of uh, horizontal, but if it's not, try to bring your heel closer towards your inner thigh. And as you feel that you have the stretch here, that is fine. Inhale, finding length from here, very pretty. Exhale, slowly, forward fold. Use your hands, maybe like a pillow on the front. We're gonna hold it here for six cycles of breath. Allow every time that you exhale, that your muscle is relaxing. And feel how that muscle that runs from your hip into the outside of your knee, your IT band, is just creating that recovery sensation. We are allowing the blood circulation gets more into that spot. Just getting it active. Three more breaths. Exhale through your mouth if it's necessary. And slowly start bringing back your hands under your shoulders. You're gonna tap your toes on the back, bring your knee up, and you're gonna step that right foot in between your hands. Very nice. Make sure that your ankle, again, is just under your knee, and when you are ready, slowly start moving into a crescent lunge. So again, finding balance, finding that strength in those strong legs that you already have. And you can take it a little bit deeper, so you can find that extra stretch on your hip flexor. Maybe this becomes a lot for your glutes. Take last three breaths. One. Two. 
and three hands down on the floor. Now we're gonna start moving the right foot just into the corner of your mat, so all the way into the outside, and then bring the left knee down on the floor. If you need to create more space, let your toes be pointing towards the outside, then you have more space into the area of your hips, so we can go into a lizard. Option A is just you stay here. Option B, walk your hands a little bit on the front. Option C, maybe your elbows, or just one elbow, stay on the ground. Take the option that is nicer for you, five breaths here. Again, try to breathe slowly. Sometimes the howdings of yoga, they are not like the sweetest. But there comes something just after when we are just into the howding, we are exploring, we are now feeling different spots that we, we don't do while we run, maybe. Relax your lips, your jaw, the muscles of your face. Now again, slowly bring back your hands just under your shoulders. You are a little bit lifting up. Bring the right arm on the front, inhale, making a big circle, and then bend the left knee so maybe we can catch the ankles. If that's not possible, just make sure that you get active your leg here. Maybe you can catch it. If it's not, try to catch your leg. That also helps. Just for three. It works? Okay, if it's not, just, just get the intention to bring the, the feet up, two, one last long and deep breath, and exhale, release down, ah, hands under, tap your toes on the back, bring your knee up, step back into a down dog, and take just one cycle of breath to feel, for sure your right leg feels completely different than the left, right, bend your knees a little bit, yes, and try to pull your hips up and back. Then again, stretch your legs, left leg goes all the way up, long and deep inhale, exhale, knee towards the chest, and the left leg goes into that half pigeon, the other side, yes, perfect. Once you are there, take your own time to adjust, to modify, and to feel that you can stay in that same position for at least five cycles of breath. We're gonna take one more, last and long deep inhale. Exhale through your mouth. And then slowly start waking up back, hands under your shoulder, tap your toes on the back, bring your knee up, and we're gonna step that left foot in between the hands. Very nice. Again, before we release the hands out of the floor, make sure that you are creating a stability and your balance is fine. And then we're gonna go for a crescent lunge. And then let your hips a little bit lower, left knee just towards the left side. Keep your core active, so we are protecting as well lower back for three. Two. One last long and deep breath. Exhale, bring back your hands down on the floor. Lizard into the other side. Left foot towards the left side, right knee on the ground. You need more space, let your toes very nice, and to the outside, and then walk your hands, maybe a little bit on the front, or let your elbows down on the ground. Don't tap your toes on the back, relax the right leg. Try to enjoy these cycles of breath. And as we are releasing any kind of physical tension, we are also able to release emotional or mental tension through every exhalation in our body.
maybe this kind of mind, we try to also get it while, while you are running, you are just thinking on your breath and exhaling and taking those long and deep cycles of breath while you are just moving your legs. This time just try to recover everything what you do while you are doing your training. Now very gently start walking your hands back under your shoulders. Left hand is going to make a big circle, take a deep inhale. Very nice. Let's see if this side we can catch it. I guess, ah, surprise. <laughs> we can do it. Three cycles of breath. One, you can look down on the floor, check something that suits to your neck. Two, let your hips a little bit lower down. One last cycle of breath. And exhale slowly, hands down, tap your toes in the back, bring your knee up, step back into a downward. And then eventually bend both of your knees. Let's find that length into the front part of your body. Then we're gonna look up forward, bring both of your knees down on the floor, walk your hands back. And we're gonna do just a funky twist to create a stretch in the side of our body. Bring the left foot in the outside of the right knee. And make sure that your foot sole is completely flat on the floor. Gonna go a little bit here. And then from here, we're gonna start reaching ourselves a little bit higher. Leg in balance, eh? So always the option is to stay here. And the other option is just to twist a little bit towards the left side. And leg in balance. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, perfect. We have that third option that you can bring the elbow in the outside of your knee and keep the deep twist. You are finding a steel, a stretch into the IT band, finding craft or that is strain into your core in a gentle twist for your spine. Some things uh, they look easy, but they are not so easy. Eh? <laughs> Take one more deep breath, stay there. You're doing it good. Exhale slowly, hands down on the floor. Bring your feet back, and we're gonna sit on top of the heels. And while we are here, I want that you create a lot of andacht into the area uh, of your ankle, just to stretch the front ankle. Or you have the option to bring one knee up, you're gonna feel the stretch, then the other knee up, and then try to move slowly on and on, one by one. With control, with andacht, Just finding also the stretch for the chin, and the front part. And then maybe we can bring both of the knees a little bit higher up, just reclining the body back. Very nice. This is a leg pain, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a leg pain. <laughs> One more. And let's go into the other side. Right foot sole in the outside of the left knee. Make sure that your foot sole is completely strong into the ground. And then start going up. Keep your core active. When our core is active, then we find easier to move the upper and lower part of the body. And then when you feel ready, start going into a twist maybe. So a gentle twist. And try to explore. It might be possible that on this side, it's easier. We are working with two sides of our brain, right and left. So it's always one side easier than the other one. Three more breaks here. One. And try not to take it so serious. Try to relax your face too. Yes. One more breath here. Inhale. Slowly exhale. Release back your hands down on the floor. Then from here, we're gonna start little by little, relaxing. Bring your legs on the front and make sure that your seat bones, they are completely strong down on the ground. So also pointing up. Let's take a long and deep inhale, bring in the arms up and exhale, moving through your hips all the way forward and down. Not so active, just a kind of uh, forward fold into a relaxing mode.
We're gonna start rolling the back all the way up until we find the shoulders above the hips. And then we're gonna take that right leg just to go, perfect, yes. Let your toes be pointing towards the back of the room. And the left toes, they are pointing up towards the sky. You're gonna feel everything going on into this side. Long and deep inhale, find length. Exhale, walk slowly your hands on the front. And maybe you just walk them a couple of small steps. And if that is enough, stay there. Relax your neck. And allow little by little that your chest goes towards the right leg. There's a deep stretch going into the left hamstring, right? Lower as you go, as deeper the stretch in your left hamstring is going to be. We create as well here the range of motion for our hip. We are trying to get together here, bones, muscle, tissue, soft tissue, the fascia, everything working here together. Very gently start rolling back up, stretch your leg, and we're gonna go very gently into the other side. Bring the left leg, let your toes be pointing towards the back, long and deep inhale, find length into your spine, and then exhale, start moving forward. Make sure that your right toes are pointing up towards the platform so we can keep very active the right hamstring. Take three more cycles of breath. And again, that leg of your pain. Try to breathe so we can enjoy it good. And again, slowly rolling your back all the way up. Stretch your legs on the front. Bring your hands pointing towards your billion and bend both of your knees. Take a deep inhale, bringing your hips all the way up. Let's hold it here for three. Make sure that you are keeping strong your billion. So you have your billion, your hamstrings, and push the ground with your heels too. One long and deep inhale, and exhale slowly, bring back your body even on the ground, stretch your legs from the front, and we're going to start laying in the back. Leave your heel from here. Try to relax your arms beside your body, relaxing your legs. And we're going to bend the right knee and try to bring it towards the right shoulder. Stay there, long and deep inhale. And while you exhale, try to go a little bit deeper. So press your knee closer towards your back. Internal massage for your organs. Stretch for your lower back. And then we're gonna bring the right leg all the way up. I am this, our toes are gonna be pointing towards our face and the heel pointing up towards the platform. With both of your hands, you can catch the back of your hamstring your calves, or maybe your ankle. Choose the option that is nicer for you. Relax your shoulders, long and deep inhale. Exhale, knee towards your nose, nose towards the knee for three. Leg active with your tail and pointing towards your fissure for two. And we are shaking on the leg, one long and deep inhale. And exhale, release down. Bend again your knee, and we're gonna find a soft twist, bringing the knee in our legs. Yes, and let the right arm open and rest. Very nice. Maybe we feel some crackings on the lower back. And let's just stay here for five breaths. Feel welcome to be gazing towards the right hand, or just keep on watching up towards the sky. It depends on your neck, your shoulders. This 
last uh, how these last asanas that we are doing at the end of this uh, class they are always perfect for our recovery after running so the after a stretch that you might do back home You're going to start moving back, the knee on top of the chest, catch it with both of your hands, take a deep inhale, exhale, knee towards your nose, nose towards the knee, release back your head, stretch the right leg on the front, and take one breath just to feel the difference between right and left. The right hip flexor, your right hamstring. We're going to go into the other side. So the left knee bends, catch it with both of your hands. Once you are there, make sure that you feel a stretch into your lower back. And then take a deep inhale again, exhale, press deeper your thigh and your back, your belly. And then we're going to stretch the left leg all the way up. Try to catch the same spot that you catch on the right side. Flex your feet, try to pull your heel pointing up towards the plafond as much as you can. Long and deep inhale. Let's move together. Exhale, knee towards the nose, nose towards the knee for three. Try to relax your shoulders. For two. Flex your feet. It's shaking. It's shaking. One long and deep inhale. Exhale slowly, releasing back. Bend again your knee. Long and deep inhale and exhale. Right knee towards left knee, sorry, towards the right side and find the twist. And this is fine, no? Mm -hmm. This feels good. Take five long and deep breaths here. And feel how the muscles of your face, they are also able to relax. As we are cooling down. And then let's get ready to move back into the center. Catch again with both of your hands to your knees. Lies along the deep inhale. Exhale, knee towards your nose, nose towards the knee. Find that length into your back. And then release back. Take one cycle of breath to feel. Just absorb. And then we're gonna bend both of the knees. Place the foot sole on the floor. Hands beside your body. We're going to go for a bridge. So take a deep inhale, bringing your hips up. Exhale slowly, vertebra per vertebra. Release back your hips down on the mat. Just two more times. Long and deep inhale. Exhaling slowly all the way down. One last time. Inhale, gently and slow. Try to pull your hips as higher as you can as you find that strength into your hamstring. Hold it here for two breaths. Can I be feeling? Feel that calf that is straining your hamstrings and how your heels, they are pushing the ground out. And very gently, bring it back down. Then from here, we're going to go into a full happy baby. So you can catch your ankles or maybe your foot sole. Very nice. Relax your neck and find something comfortable for your shoulders. This is our last howdy. Observe what your body is, is doing now. And 
from here, bring your foot so together. And we're gonna relax the legs into a butterfly, reclined butterfly. Let your hands just beside your body. Feel the connection that they are doing your the sole of your feet. And take a moment to make sure that your underroof and your pelvis, they are comfortable, your shoulders, your neck. Now start bringing the right knee towards the left knee and we're going to go into a baby position towards the leg. You can use your hand or your arm like a pillow. Try to keep your back a little bit rounded and maybe your eyes they are closed. Now keeping your eyes closed, we're going to start moving back in a clear magazine, just like we start our practice this morning or today. Allow your hands to rest on top of your knees or on top of your thighs. And just in your mind, imagine that long line that you are creating from your lower back all the way up into the crown of your head. A line full of balance, of energy. And again, take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring the right ear towards the right shoulder just to relax our neck. Inhale, moving back in the center. Exhale, left ear towards your left shoulder. Relax the right side of your neck. Taking it back into the center. And take three cycles of breath. And maybe just a moment to find gratitude for your body, for everything that your body do and for all those kilometers that probably your legs have run. Take a moment of feeling dankbar for the chesson head for, of your body. And being dankbar that you're able to practice this nice sport that allows you to feel more alive and maybe more in balance with your life. Now, if you want, bring the hands together in front of your chest. Let's take a long and deep inhalation, finding the love and the gratitude with your God. Namaste. Now, I hope you enjoy this class, and I hope that these kind of howdings and asanas, they are able to find that, that balance in between so much action and uh, the recovering and the rest that your body needs in order to perform better. So all these holdings, they are good for your runner's practice and keep your body uh, quite healthy. Bye-bye. Thank you. Stop. Thank you. <laughs>